Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. I'm about to open this package up. I ordered Emily, which is my eighth grader, a science curriculum, and it just came last night. I actually let her pick which science she wanted to do this year for eighth grade, and she chose marine biology. So it, come so it came with a student journal, and then here is her unit study book. So I know she's gonna be excited to start using this. It looks like a lot of fun. Um, it is for grades. This one is for seventh, oh, uh, here it is, seventh to eighth grade, but I think they have like the lower grades and the higher grades for the marine biology, but um, she's the only one that's gonna be using it and she's my eighth grader, so marine biology is what she'll be using this year. Hey friends, and welcome back to the vlog. To the <laughs> oh, Millie, every time, it never fails, every time she says mama. mama. Waddy. Yeah, are you eating your mac and cheese back there? Um, it is already 2.30, so the kids had mac and cheese for lunch, but um, she's just now getting to eat hers because she napped through lunch. She's got a little bit like of a stuffy nose today, which has made her like a little bit fussy. So she's been kind of fussy today. Um, so she's having her mac and cheese. The kids are outside now having some outside time. But today is Thursday, so today is kind of like our Friday because we do a four day week schedule. So we're off tomorrow. School tomorrow's kind of like our Friday fun day, but we're finishing up week two of school and I just feel like we have had a great two weeks so far. But yeah, I'm just thankful we are having a good start back to our homeschool year. All right y'all, so it is the next day. It's Friday now. We just got finished up with lunch. Some of the kids plates are still over there on the table. Um, I did not finish vlogging anymore yesterday. After dinner last night, Emily and I actually went and got our nails done. But Emily and I got to go out and do our nails last night, which was a really nice treat. Um, it was her turn to go with me. So she got a pedicure and actually got a pedicure and got my um, nails done. I have not had my nails done in forever. So I just went with like the white tip powder dip. Um, but anyway, it's now Friday. We have a four day week schedule, so we don't have school today, but I have trying to come up with things for us to do on Fridays, like for a fun Friday. Um, it's so hot outside right now that it's too hot to like take field trips or anything, but once it gets cooler, we'll do some field trips. But I wanted to take a few minutes and answer the rest of those questions on my community tab that y'all asked me, I think several days ago. And I answered a couple in yesterday's video. I asked a few on Josh and I's date night last week um but now I just want to answer the rest of those or at least you know try to answer the rest of those while I have a few quiet minutes all right so the first question says how do you keep your toddlers entertained when you homeschool through the years um so right now I only have one toddler Millie she's two Everly is already four she'll be five in March um so just one toddler right now but I know how it is when you have more than one toddler and a baby like three of my girls were so close in age I feel like they were babies together for the longest time and that is really hard especially during school um, but right now in this season for Millie honestly I bought her a really thick like toddler book where she can scribble in it because when we do school she likes to do everything her sisters are doing so when they do school I get out her toddler book and she just does whatever in it takes color pencils and scribbles in it pencils whatever and if she gets bored with that she'll usually go play or I'll give her a snack um, and then she has her nap time around lunch time so so far she has been able to stay pretty occupied with that stuff um we also have magnet tiles which are really really good for kids and especially toddlers uh, where you can just like uh I don't know it's just like little mag y'all probably heard of magnet tiles you just make stuff with them um I need I need to find all of them actually some of them are lost but that is a really good idea and for some reason that keeps kids entertained forever they love building and playing with that kind of stuff so those are just a few ideas and a few things that I use um sometimes I'll try to put like a cartoon on for her but Millie is not really big into just sitting down and watching a cartoon some of my kids have been at the age but Millie um in the morning while she's having her milk she'll want to sit down and watch a little cartoon but other than that she's not big on the tv so she likes to stay occupied with like workbooks and playing and things like that so those are a few ideas all right the next question says uh we have a larger size family with olders and young ones as well how do you balance needing your older kids help with the little ones but also letting them do their own thing i know what you're saying about that um but since they are older they are able to help and i just if i really need help from them i'll just nicely ask them to help me with something that i need but i try not to bombard them with any of that like um i i make the lunch around here i do all the things like all the mom duties like for example if there's something specific that needs to be done with the kids say a kid needs a bath 
I will assign that as a chore to that kid. So that night, instead of them having the dining room or the dishes or whatever they were gonna do, I'll say your chore instead is to give so-and-so a bath. Um, most of my kids can bathe themselves now, but Everly and Millie still need help with their baths, giving them a bath, obviously. Um, so that night, I may assign one of my big girls the chore of giving them a bath, and they, they don't mind that. They normally never mind giving them a bath and usually gets them out of doing another chore that maybe they didn't want to do so that is one way i do it um but since my kids have gotten older i don't have to ask for a whole lot of help um at lunchtime my older kids fix their own lunch and then i fix lunch for all the little kids and it just kind of flows and works out and if there's a time that i need help then they they don't mind helping um like josh and i like to take a date night once a month and the, the older girls watch our little kids which is really nice and they don't mind doing that for us all right, the next question says, does your family, as in your parents' siblings, support your decision to homeschool? And yes, they do. Um, I don't think they would really care either way whether they were in public school or homeschooled. But yes, they support my decision. I've honestly, surprisingly, never had anybody criticize um, me for homeschooling or our family for homeschooling or anything. Everybody I talks to is like, well, that's wonderful. That, you know, that's a great thing to do. So thankfully, I have never run into criticism the next one says does your family play board games together and sometimes on friday nights we'll either have movie night or game night so we'll let the kids choose if, if everybody's not too tired we'll have a like a game night instead of movie night but friday nights are usually our night to pick one of the two all right the next question says any tips for homeschooling with a newborn um that is such a sweet sweet uh like season to be in with a newborn but it can be hard and you can be sleep deprived and all the things that come with a newborn but my tip is just snuggle that baby as much as you can because that phase it goes by so fast like you just feel like the newborn stage is gonna last forever but in reality it doesn't so give yourself grace and you you snug, snuggle that baby as much as you need to and during homeschool Get the kids to come sit on the couch with you while you hold the baby and work with the kids or read aloud to the kids while you're holding the baby. There's so many ways that you can do it. If your baby likes to be carried in a wrap, you could do that while you get other things done around the house. But yeah, I know. It, it, when you're feeling so tired, you're not getting much sleep, it's hard. Um, but just give yourself grace during that time because it does get better and it does not last long enough. All right, the next question says, um, how long were you dating before you got married and how old were each of you? So Josh and I actually knew each other since the middle school. We became like boyfriend and girlfriend in the eighth grade um, for about two years. And then we kind of broke it off. And we honestly were broke up the rest of high school, which is kind of crazy. But, but when I was 18, I was working at Kmart and Josh was actually riding through the Kmart parking lot and saw me walking out, pulled over there to talk to me. We exchanged phone numbers and I think it was like a couple weeks later we started talking and we have talked ever since then um so that's kind of how it all went down so when we started talking again i was 18 he was 19. um so yeah we've been dating ever since then when we're both 37 now he'll be 38 in november all right next question says why is your oldest daughter not being homeschooled in math and reading this year or math and english i guess um and that's just because we wanted her to take those classes at the private school and with her taking those classes now she gets to be a part of their graduation and i want her to be a part of like a graduation ceremony um so it all kind of worked out she's excited about her two classes there i'm excited for her and then the next may she'll have like a graduation ceremony with them which will be nice the next one says, which of your girls gets up the earliest? That is most definitely Millie. Millie is on a record for getting up the earliest. Um, I, I hear her calling for somebody in her crib before I even get out of the bed. She's either she's either yelling for Josh or me or somebody. So yeah, Millie, Millie is definitely my early bird and has been for, oh my gosh, over a year now. Probably since she's been born, honestly. All right, the next one says, how much laundry do you do every day? A lot of laundry. Like... <laughs> Oh my gosh, my washer and dryer like literally doesn't stop. When I get up in the morning, I go ahead and start a load. Um, so I'm not playing when I say my washer and dryer literally pretty much run all day long unless I'm not at home. Um, just because there's so many people here, it can't quit. We don't have two washers, two dryers, so that one washer and dryer has to keep going all day long. Next one says, what do you think about your daughter being in 12th grade? It is really bittersweet. It's sweet to see her get to this point and know that we've been able to homeschool throughout and um, just watching her grow and learn and grow in the Lord, it has just been such a blessing to me, but it's also sad knowing that it's her last year of me being able to homeschool her. So that does make me sad and has made me cry a little bit, um, but I just, 
it's just it's bittersweet it's bittersweet all right the next one says who is a night owl honestly nobody in my family is really a night owl we're all we're all early birds when it comes to going to bed at night um we get a full day in we usually start our days pretty early and by night everybody's ready for bed so i don't think i really have a night owl i wouldn't say um I guess the one that has a harder time going to sleep and stays up a little bit later because I don't know if she catches her second wind at night or what, but she likes to clean her room at night and things would be Allie, which is my second daughter. Um, other than that, nobody's really a night owl around here. I'll go to bed at a decent hour. But that is it for the questions. I think I got all of those answered. Oh, I have one more. Um, someone asked me if I teach history and geography in school, and yes, I do. Um, this year for my little kids, heritage studies is what they're doing for like their geography and their history lessons. But also for geography, we like to do like flashcards um, to kind of know where the states are in the United States. And it's just different things every year that we kind of use for that. So yeah, we do teach history and geography. Um, anyway, that's all the questions. I wanted to get that in this video. I thank y'all for hanging out with us again. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you come back for Monday's video because I'm going to be showing you an awesome recipe that is native to South Carolina. It's going to be so good and y'all don't want to miss that one. I'll talk to you in the comments, friends. Bye. Mm -hmm.